In the vast expanse of the cosmos full of stars and galaxies, some areas are dark, silent. Welcome to the Buotis Void. Space contains galaxies and celestial objects that link in large filaments throughout the universe. They formulate a web of shimmering cosmic activity. However, some spots confuse scientists. Voids are large spherical regions in space with minimal cosmic activity. Where there should be many galaxies, there are close to none. Most scientists agree that the formation of voids date back to the fluctuations in density during the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. In the very beginning, the universe was immeasurably small and under extreme pressure. Quantum fluctuations began as the universe entered cosmic inflation the expansion faster than the speed of light. Quantum fluctuations are defined as the temporary random change in the amount of energy at a point in space. These took place as the universe went from nothing to infinitely large. Quantum fluctuations created areas that varied in density. Dark matter spread and atoms began forming structures and building filaments. This made the cosmic web. While empty space itself doesn't have any value of density, the masses of structures like black holes, neutron stars, and even tiny particles make up the density of our universe. Some areas of space became less dense, some more dense. These areas of low density are voids. Some voids, however, became known as supervoids, large gaps in space with shatteringly low densities that span millions of light years in diameter. Since the 1980s, the Buotis void has shocked scientists. This cosmic supervoid was given the name the Great Nothing. The Buotis Void has an estimated diameter of 330 million light years. Its volume makes it even more astonishing. In perspective, one light year is roughly 9.4 trillion kilometers, already an unimaginably large number. Astronomers classify regions of space into clusters, collections of galaxies. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is in the local group which is close to another cluster called the Virgo Cluster. This combined region is sometimes labeled as the Virgo Supercluster. The Buotis Void is visible on a map near the Virgo Supercluster. However, these clusters stated are part of another massive supercluster. The Laniakea Supercluster. This is what astronomers call our home. Galaxies are part of clusters, which are part of superclusters, and create a large cycle of this system where we expand in the universe. The Buotis Void lies an estimated 700 million light years away from Earth. So how did scientists discover this cosmic shadow? Different colors of light have different wavelengths. This can be understood in a visual of the visible spectrum. As the universe expands, galaxies move further away from us. In 1981, American astronomer Robert Kirchner studied space using redshift. The light emitted from these far galaxies have lower frequencies, which make their light more on the red end of the spectrum, hence redshift. Redshift is when the wavelength of light is stretched towards the red end of the spectrum. Kirchner used the scientific technology of redshift to discover the Buotis Void. Only one spiral galaxy was discovered at the time, and over the years, scientists have discovered 60, 
when there should be at least 2,000. We discovered galaxies in the 1920s. Astronomer Greg Aldering pointed out that if the Milky Way had been in the center of the Buotis void, we wouldn't have known there were other galaxies until the 1960s. While many other voids exist, the Buotis void is known for being one of the largest and emptiest voids that have puzzled scientists. To this day, its composition of vast empty space and few galaxies make scientists reflect on how infinitely large the universe really is. <laughs>